I'm Andy. And I'm Chris. And together we are Half Fate, Fate Will, Will Travel. Travel. We're about to embark on one of the most exciting journeys of our lives. We will cross the expanse of several thousand miles over the next 10 days. We'll be traversing land and sea to explore every hidden gem we might discover through oceans, seascapes, mountains, and every valley between. But the most precious gem and true purpose of this vacation is waiting for us just a few states to the east in York, Pennsylvania. Our daughter Megan, her fiancé Troy, and our beautiful grandbaby we are getting to meet for the very first time, Miss Sandra May Robinson. So sit back, prop your feet up on the dash, and travel along with us over the next 10 days and thousands of miles of this beautiful countryside as we define the meaning of wanderlust. Take the back roads to destinations yet unknown and journey with us as we celebrate our East Coast Summer Vacation 2021. See you on the flip side. Peace out. Good morning. Good morning. We know most of you are probably in bed or at work, but we wanted to show you, hopefully with no tears, Hmm. where the middle half of our adventure started. We had a really good time these past couple days. Yep. Got to see baby. Sad to leave them both. Sad to leave. But it would be back. Definitely. Anyways, we're packed. We had a really good time. Brian, if you happen to see this, the uh, super host, you have a good place. And it, it was it, awesome. It, Lots of memories. Very welcoming. Anyways, we're <laughs> on to our next adventure. We're going to try to enjoy the rest of our trip, even though we're both sad and would rather be bringing two people back home with us. But that's not what needs to happen. So Not yet. Nope. So stay tuned. Because we'll be back. See ya. Get on the chopper. Thought I would end it. On welcome. Have a good morning.
we are in Ocean City, Maryland, driving down the main drag, and we're trying to find a place to pull into that is going to get us to the boardwalk, and then also close enough to the highway to the mainland, down to our next location. But I'm going to flip this bad boy around so you can see what's in front of us as if you were direct, actually driving the car with us. Hold tight. Yeah, so if you're in the mood for some crabs, it's kind of cool. I'm not in the mood for crabs. Maybe a crab. That's <laughs> why I want mac and cheese. And by the way, these lights here are really, really, really long. So maybe doing a live video was not the best idea. But <laughs> there's just, there's a lot of, if anybody's never, anybody's ever been down here or not been here, I should say just miles long stores food clothing and that doesn't even include the boardwalk no boardwalk is gonna i think over there we're trying to get to the very end of it and work our way back i don't mean how many blocks worth at least 40 or more but there's just a couple we wanted to go to so there's a mini golf place over there yeah a lot of mini golf i i don't understand the the mini golf obsession it is fun but oh my god do you need that many yes, yes. so i will turn this back on when we get to a spot to park and maybe walk along the boardwalk ta-ta for now Everybody. Hey! We are at this place. Ocean City, Maryland. Ocean City, Maryland. And how did we get here, you might ask? Well, I, I honestly don't know. We got on the road and drove and drove and drove. But nonetheless, we're at the world famous Ocean City, Maryland. And straight through there. No, you can't. You can't because it's on me. The ocean is one small sliver, but let's walk a little bit. We'll go around the corner here. We are at the Atlantic Ocean. And over yonder is the boardwalk. There's the Ferris wheel. There's actually two of them, but we're not going to go that far. We're just kind of on the hunt for some food. And we just wanted to quickly show you where we're at. There's actually the public restroom. So if any of you ever come this way, they do have public bathrooms even in COVID times. And it's weird to think though too, because last summer, was it last summer? We, we they were closed here? Yeah, last summer they were completely shut down it was a ghost town from a lot of the videos we saw, so... Anywho, you're just a small sliver of happiness. Yep, and the boardwalk... I was going to show you that Miles. One. Miles, all the way down. All the way down. Okay, more later. Have a good day. Coming to you live from Ocean City, Maryland.
couple uh, friends of ours. Yeah? Do they Karen. know they're friends of ours? No. <laughs> Karen and Nate? Karen and Nate. All right. All right. Let's see what we think. Hi everybody, we're on Assateague where the wild ponies are, and we're coming up on some. There are a few rules that you're supposed to follow, but they're going to have to chase me now. Here's one pony. Hi buddy. Here you go, Donna Danner. What's up, bruh? You're handsome. Hi, buddy. Oh, don't scare him. There's a baby one. Ish. He's small. He's right here, too. Hi, buddy. Oh, that's X-rated. Hi, buddy. Those are pretty ones. All right, good to see you. All the way from Council Bluffs, Iowa. Bye, buddies. Keep going. We got a couple more up here. Hi, He's sticking his tongue out. All right, let's go. Thank you, buddy. Just a couple more. Just keep going. Couple, couple more up here. To the one viewer that's on watching right now, we're on Assateague Island, Maryland. It is a national wild refuge for horses. And if you want to know a history lesson, look it up. And we're getting ready to cross back over the bridge to mainland via the Varazano Bridge. It's a little creepy. Makes you wonder how 
how old it is. <laughs> we are now headed to Chincote to check in at Refuge Inn. And then we're going to go to Assateague Beach. After we make a fine Yes. After Nothing of nothing of sustenance. We were gonna stop at Lizzie's and they were closed and they were gonna stop where else? Uh, Crab Cake Factory. And we couldn't find any parking because it was knocking butts. And if you saw my video earlier, the boardwalk was extremely busy, but you know what? It was it was nice busy. Yeah, it was not doable. I mean <laughs> it was not not doable. We could have found some spots to park, in, but we didn't really, it was, the place looked like it was in the underbelly of a restaurant, but people were eating at tables single file along a handrail on a deck. It was covered, of course, but I just like, you know what, let's save ourselves a hundred bucks and maybe we'll catch AJ's or something. We'll find some seafood and chinko tea so, instead. Anyway. Just thought I would uh, give you all a heads up. We're just, uh, you know, driving like it matters. <laughs> Hit, hitting all the rumble bars. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have a good time. And have a good night. Happy Tuesday. See you from the beach.
Good Yay. job. They'll hit me as soon. Go ahead and start recording. Come on. Come on. I know. Hey, I'm sorry. Come here, work for it. Work for it. He's thinking about it. Come on, work for it. Ready? He's right there. Did you get that? Yes! Good evening, everybody. Hi. So, we are at Assateague Beach, Chicoteague, Virginia. Yes. We've been waiting for three months for this. Yes. Equally as long as seeing our granddaughter and daughter, but different story. I want to share with you first what's in front of me, the sunset. Over there is the marshes. Ocean's also out that way. That's the very tip of where we're at. Lifeguard houses, shacks, not houses. And I don't know if you can hear the beach or not, but it is fantastic. We're at the beach. Not Indiana Dunes, not Warren Dunes. The Atlantic Ocean Beach. It's kind of hazy, kind of foggy. Cool. We also have a potential tropical storm moving up from the south. So that might be part of what's going on. Bringing in some deep Atlantic Ocean currents. Maybe a shark or two.
That's so, awesome. No. Okay, so the only other thing I asked for was to find a crab and look what we found on the beach. He was alive, but um, he has pinchers and it kind of stepped on him. He came up a little bit too far. That's not even the one we were ocean honey I know I'm here without you but I want to wanted you to know that I love you I'm here all by myself on the beach and I was wondering if you would marry me again I love you and I will give you all my heart I miss you baby. I'm at the beach again. I'm all by myself. I'm at the Atlantic Ocean this time. And I'm, with, I'm without you. I was wondering if you'd marry me again. If you wish you could be here to... Hi. Hi. Would you marry me again?
All right, a little backstory on this little skit we just did. Wow. It was a real thing. Was it? And then I go see my girl. Nine. Like 10 years ago. 07, 08, 09. I went to Oregon to see my grandma. And I did this exact same thing, except I was on Yahats, Upper Oregon, PNW area. And I was actually by myself. But as heartbreaking as that was to be by myself, this made it all better. Me too. So don't ever go to the beach by yourself. Get it done right. I love you. Happy late evening. Um, we don't even know what day it is anymore. Tuesday. Tuesday. Kenzie's birthday's tomorrow. Yes, our youngest birthday girl is tomorrow. 18. I don't know what happened to the time. <laughs> so, let's do a quick recap. Um, we left York, PA a little after 7 this morning. Yep. What time did we go to bed? Um, after 2. And we got in the morning. Six. In the so morning. We got about four hours of sleep, and we drove. I don't even know. Well, let's go ahead and tell where all we went, and then. Okay. God, I'm trying to even think where all we went. Well, we went east from York, PA. Yeah, actually, southeast to P from PA. We stopped um, in. Was it? Did we stop in Lancaster for? Yes, we got Mr. Sticky, Sticky, Mr. Buns. Sticky Buns, and I'm here to tell you I'm a fat guy. I love cinnamon rolls. I make good cinnamon rolls, but these beat anything I've ever made or had. They were really good. Homemade caramel-ish. I don't know that I'd call that caramel. Like brown sugar-ish. Um, walnuts galore, and they're probably like hand size. Yeah. So. Then we stopped at Philadelphia Philadelphia Pretzel Factory in, we don't even know what town. I don't remember. Bear, Bear Delaware. Delaware. And I turned around in the parking lot and it tried to redirect me because we missed our first turn off the parking lot. And at some point it just said, head. It didn't yeah. tell us to where to head. It didn't tell us what else to I do. It just said, wasn't sure head. what it was suggesting. <laughs> but we found it. And those were really, really good pretzels too. So that's what we survived off of. And we were going to go to, uh, we were heading towards the coast. Yep, Ocean City, Maryland. But we were going to, we had a stop, Coin, Coin Beach, Beach in Rehoboth, Delaware. And. Hi, Mom. There's some busyness <laughs> going on out there, but holy crap busy. It was way too busy. It was, we, it wasn't even the boardwalk that was too busy. It was the. The traffic was just bumper to bumper cars, and it, it was like five lanes across. And we're vaccinated, but good grief, there are people were acting like COVID had never happened. Mm -hmm. And so, rather than go to Coin Beach, and there's also World War II memorial somewhere, we missed that, which we never saw. So we're just so. like, eh. so from Coin Beach, which we might as well say we were there. Yeah, I mean we drove past it, but on the way to Ocean City, Maryland, it wasn't the it wasn't the boardwalk like I said, it was the traffic and it wasn't like traffic that's going 60 miles an hour. They we were literally going like 7 miles an hour for almost 3 hours. You, you might say bumper to bumper. Yeah. Not not, not bad, bad traffic, just you couldn't go anywhere and then there was some accidents, so there was several ambulances and things like that yeah. people had to pull over. So it took us what should have taken us like 40 minutes to get to Ocean City took us like three hours. There was a so. lot of slowdowns and whatnot and GPS redirects. Yep. But when we made it to Ocean City, Maryland, 
it was better than I thought. And probably, I guess I figured it was it was as busy as I thought. But nobody... That part wasn't too bad. Nobody really got in close quarters. Nobody mm -hmm. got inside my bubble, really. Unless you went into the shops. But that's to be expected. We had Thrasher's Fries. So two of the seafood places we were going to eat at, one of them we couldn't even find. The other one was completely packed and nowhere to park anywhere close to it. So we all said, screw it. We got thrash, Thrasher's French fries, which were the best French fries I've ever had. They're well known for their French fries, and we, we couldn't do it without it. And then, um, what was the creamery place? I don't know. We'll post that later when we actually do our vlog. It was, it was pretty good. I, I yeah. had a like a whiskey crunch. No, that was mm. the, at Ocean City, was the, the creamery place where you guys oh. got the thick malts. You got black raspberry and... I don't remember. Ashton got strawberry no. banana. No, I'm talking about the one here in town. I got that. I haven't gotten that far yet. Oh. We're still in Ocean City. Okay. <laughs> I, I went back a few days. And then we did a little tiny, like the girls did kind of a little bit of shopping. And then they were like, okay, we're done. Let's just head to. And if you ask our youngest, she might say, oh, it was just too, too many people. Yeah. There was a lot mm. of people. She's antisocial anyway. And so. the beach was so packed we couldn't even walk to, out to the beach to see the, the water there, so we didn't. And, and not to say we couldn't, you know, fight our way through it, but it was so far out there. I'm like... It was too packed. I, I knew that we had a beach yet to go, and we will get there in a minute. What did we do after that? Then we headed um, this way. Yeah. Oh, we Assateague yeah, National we went, Shore, like, seashore. We went to Assateague Island. Which is a National Horse Refuge. It's a historical yep. place. That was beautiful. Um, saw a couple. We, it, we we got to the point where it was like, turn left or go straight. And we went straight, and it was the best straight we've probably ever done. There, there was, a, as they call them, wild ponies. Yep. Alongside the road. And you're not supposed to inter really interact with them if they approach. Well, they didn't really approach because we were in the car. But we had bay on one side and ocean on the other and it was beautiful the bridge going in was really pretty the bridge on that was one. beautiful i mean it just it kind of went up and over to allow for boat passage underneath uh it was beautiful and then we did assateague drove around there a little bit and then came into town then chinko teague is beautiful however chinko teague is very beautiful but they have one main drag and it is I would say people palooza. The beach wasn't bad. Yes, definitely. <laughs> um, the beach wasn't bad, but in town was bad as far as eating because we wanted to grab something quick to, because we got in late. So we wanted to grab something quick and head out to uh, Chinko Teague and go to Assateague Beach. And I mean, we would have had to wait in line for like an hour for any seafood or anything like that. So we came and quickly checked into the motel at Refuge Inn. And then we found out that there's a McDonald's, like, like a 50 literally yards. next door. So we went through McDonald's, and Andy got fish sandwich just to say he had to see food. Yeah, I said, if I'm getting seafood, by golly, this is what that I'm getting. That doesn't count. I, I, I really want seafood, but... It's not worth the hour wait right now. We hit two places, and there were people lined up to the street yeah. at the one. And the other one, you couldn't even get a spot to park. Yeah. So it's just... And we, we didn't want to just pick any old spot. We... Oh, we stopped by the beef jerky place. Yep. I uh, got something, acid, or Chinko Teague House of Jerky, and got wild boar jerky. And brisket, sweet yep. and spicy brisket. And we stopped by Island Creamery, which is, that was, I think, the nationwide That was the one that won award. the national yep. award. And that's the one I got, the whiskey crunch, yep. whiskey toppy crunch. Yeah. It was good. It was, you could tell, it was butter fat straight from the cow. I and think the this hotel is probably my favorite on the outside of the hotel. We've yeah. got the pony pen out there. There's a lighthouse right out our window. We and have a private deck. I want to publicly thank a very good friend of mine, Anne, who has known that we are coming this way for a couple reasons, mainly to see our daughter Megan and baby Sandra. But she said to stop by Assateague and Chinko Teague if we get a chance. And at first it's like, eh, we might not go that route because we we're going to go way north and like 
10, 12 times worth of yeah. plan changes. We ended up at Assateague and Chincoteague. We saw Karen and Nate's video, some YouTube people that we follow, and they had gone to Assateague and saw the ponies. I'm like, oh, I know where we're going now. So, <laughs> stifling yawns after four hours of sleep and lots of tears yes. last night, and then back up first. We got up at six something. So, Airbnb um, was by far my favorite place. Yeah, stayed, it was. So I miss it already. Shout out to the Airbnb owner, Brian. Brian Fleming. Fleming. There you go. If anybody comes to York, PA, talk to my wife. She will get you his contact info. It's three well worth three it. story, fully equipped, for the most part. Three bathrooms, which was nice with all the girls basically, there. Basically a bathroom. Well, it wasn't one on the ground floor, but anyways, that's neither no. here nor there. Um, back to we Chincoteague. So on Chincoteague, once we got settled in the hotel, um, I wandered for a minute. Anne, you are a gem, and... Thank you very much for suggesting this place. This place is got history written all over it. Just very the hotel, cool. the way, and I, I love history. I love old things very much. And I agree, Mom. Except that by the time we told Megan and Sandra goodbye last night, I was ready to just go back home. I'm like, I don't want to go to the beach. I just want to go yeah, home. We, <laughs> I wanted to kidnap them and bring them home with us, but I'm glad we, we got to see the ocean together. We had a quiet moment in the upstairs living room that involved a lot of tears. It's it's hard to... When Megan left the first time, it was like, sore, butterfly, sore. This time it was quite different. Life as it seemed, was taking its toll. But you know what? We raised a good kid, and she's strong. Megan, if you watch this, honey, you have a heart of steel and blood. And you will conquer anything that gets through. And you tell Troy Robinson that he's got a family to come to. Anytime he needs it. Both of you if do. If you guys ever want to move, what have you. You got a whole car load, cargo of people ready to go get you if ever needed. <laughs> so, anyways, thanks, Anne, again. Um, kind of wish you were actually here. It'd be fun to hang out with you. Um, can I in the room? Yeah. A little bit. Um, so we're in a, in a room with two queen beds. We have yet to get a room with a king, by golly. I'll be button butts with somebody again. <laughs> Actually, the first night was a uh, full, and we won't ever sleep in a full bed again together. Not if we can help it. So, our bed. Keith's bed. Um, bathroom is that way. Front door. Um, amenities like refrigerator, coffee pot, dresser, armoire. The TV, AC unit, and all the Sinclair stuff. We have a balcony, which we will be making use of here shortly. Where you will find one adult and one almost adult out on the out on the patio. No. You can see out there too. You can't really see it oh, yeah. right now, but there's a lighthouse that's right out there too. Yeah. That's Not only that, but we specifically requested. Right over yonder is what they call the pony pen. Pony pen, yeah. So Chinko T has its own set of ponies, wild ponies. That, they're a little bit tamer, I guess. They they have food stations you can feed them. But that is actually, we're on the second floor, so it's right out front. Mm. I know the lighting from Anyways, the TV cubes. Um, anything else? I don't think so. I think we're oh. going to go enjoy a quiet patio sit. What part? Assateague Beach. Oh, yeah. Um, I've been to the ocean on the west coast, upper Pacific, and it was beautiful. But I can now say I've been to the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean. I've been to Canada on accident. Long story. This was the first one we've been to together. I've been to yep. the other side also, but not together. So. And I'm going to post a video, but i got to find the original video. But... Take a look. Assateague Beach was different.
did not disappoint. And actually, to be honest, I'm glad we went um, was as late as we yeah, did. It yeah. was like probably 8 o'clock, 10 after 8 or so when we got to the beach. Not hardly anybody there. Maybe, I think I maybe have seen, might have seen... Maybe 20 people. 20, 30 people tops. And they are all spread out. And we got to yeah. see the sunset there, which was beautiful. Yeah. And so. the sunset over the horizon on the... Um, Bayside, <laughs> the marshy side, and we just watched the waves come in. We walked along the shore. I may or may, <laughs> may or may not have stepped on a crab. I wanted to see, we went crab hunting because I wanted to see a crab. So we finally saw one run out of the sand dunes and onto the water and got washed away by the ocean, and he kept coming back up. So I was videotaping him, and Andy's like, be careful of your feet because... You got to make sure that they don't nibble at your feet or anything like that. And the waves came up and I was still watching him out there. And all of a sudden I heard Andy yell. Well, he, one had, it was not even the same one we were chasing. One had gotten underneath his feet and he accidentally stepped on it. Yeah, him. I went to, as you stand along the ocean waves, as, as they come into the beach, if you stand in one spot, the water washes the sand around your feet out and you just sink. So as I stepped back with my left foot and I put it down I felt a crunch well I Oops. stepped I stepped on the crab we named Henry and nobody would let me bring him home I tried I put him in the bucket of shells which are in the I, car I didn't I felt really bad but only that I if I was going to be the one to clean it, I didn't want to clean it uh -uh. I don't want to clean it too tired for cleaning <laughs> I'm I, I gotta <laughs> clean myself yet from all the sand yeah my poor car has been broken by I can't think of a better way to break in the car. I spilled some ice cream. Yeah, that's true. That'll girls, have to be cleaned up. Girls probably spilled their drink. I don't know. But we did have their seats covered, so yep. good for us. Yep. Anyways, we have so many pictures and videos as of yet for the past, unfortunately, seven days. Mom will have to come over, and we'll just start from day one, and we'll show you all our adventures we put them on pictures and videos and all kinds of stuff. Plus, I'm going to put everything together with a vlog and post it on Half Fate Will Travel, too. After we get home and unwind and see our doggies and profusely ask for forgiveness. Josh says they're doing great, but we miss them a lot. So, we miss our grandbaby a lot, too. Yeah, that's even harder to deal with. We've made it through a couple hours at the moment without crying, so... But we miss you, Meg and Sandra, already. We need to figure something out, kid. This living 17 hours apart is not okay. It never actually was, but, you know. Now yeah. that, there, now that there's a baby. now, though. Yeah. Anywho, we are going to wind down. Yep. We love and miss everybody. But we have more adventures ahead of us. Tomorrow we're headed to a couple different spots. Berkeley Springs, and then our final countdown is at... Uh, Cuyahoga. Cuyahoga. And we're staying in Cleveland, Richland. So. And maybe if we can route it, we're going to go back to Papa Moose's Donuts. Yeah. They are. I love some, you too, Mom. They got some good donuts there. We met yeah, and talked those to were the owner. Delicious. Watch the other videos, though. We got lots of pictures. Yeah. So. If we go back through to Papa Moose's this time, we probably will interview him because he was such a cool guy. And if. I get my way, we'll be swinging back by Indiana Dunes, but I don't remember if that's directly on the way or how much out of the way, but I might I might need one more water at Indiana Dunes. And I just realized by this video, I think we got sunburned today. <laughs> a little bit. My Not too bad. Forehead's a little tight. Yeah. I don't feel too bad. Yeah. So, we're going to bed in a couple hours. <laughs> we love everybody. Have a good night. Stay tuned tomorrow. Love you. Goodbye. Bye. Can't obviously can't obviously see anything, but we're out on the balcony at Refuge Inn where we're staying. There's the pony pens. I don't know where the horses go at night. They may or may not be out there wandering around somewhere. But if I shine over here, you can see the lighthouse lighting up. Kinda cool. That's the 
I think they said one of the world's oldest working lighthouses, I believe. If not world, it's probably the country. Yeah. I used to go with candles.